them thirst me. For crying out loud, he's one shot. Hey, I swear to God, we suck, bro. Hey, I have this nigga one shot. Like, we gotta fucking just hit this nigga. That's it. I, I don't give a fuck. I was one shot. Like, if I fought him, if I would have fought him full plates and he was one shot, he's dead.
I'll come out. Yo, what's good? It's Jayvert, and today I got y'all with a very highly requested Warzone 3 updated settings video. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, what are my settings? How do I move so fast? How do I break these streamers' cameras? So, I'm going to be showing y'all in this video. If y'all did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But yeah, as y'all know, if you've been watching my channel, y'all know I'm on console, and I use a regular PlayStation 5 controller. If you're just like me, I recommend you use this button layout or something similar to this. It's just bumper jumper tactical, but I modified the switch. The YY is R1 and my lethal is X. I don't know, my tactical is X. What I stem with, I press X and my lethal is the left stick. Now, I highly recommend this if you don't have a controller with paddles or if you don't play claw. I don't have a controller with any paddles or I don't play claw. I just play regular bummer jumper. So this is the button that I use. But as I'm going through the settings, I'm trying to go slow. So y'all feel free to copy everything that y'all see. Um, trigger effect off dead zones. Left stick minimum and right stick minimum. I got this zero because I don't have stick drift in my left stick. My right stick, I got like a little bit of stick drift. So if you got any type of stick drift, turn this number up higher. So the stick drift goes away because I got a little. That's why it's on two. But if you have none, turn both of these to zero. Left step max and right step max, you can keep that 99. You can turn these down and your sensitivity will be faster, but I just kept it at 99 because I didn't, I didn't really see a point. R, L2 button and R2 button, these are your triggers, what you like aim down sight with and shoot with. I got these both at zero, so you don't have to press them as hard to like get a reacting time. L2 button dead zone and R2 button dead zone, I got these both at zero. These are what you aim and shoot with. Well, for me, is what I aim and shoot with. So I got these at zero. So, you know, you can aim ADS and shoot faster without pressing the buttons hard. Um, aiming, y'all know I play 2020, 1.4. If you want to play like the sensitivity that I play, I recommend you start going up slowly. Uh, don't go straight to 2020 unless I mean you can like we just we just build like that I mean you can I'm not gonna tell you what to do or not, but it's kind of hard if you like play six sits It's kind of hard if you play like six six sensitivity and you go straight to 2020 But I mean it's it's up to you All right, so my ADS right here. I changed it to 1.3 uh, I, I kind of been going down like recently from 1.5 to 1.4 and now I'm at 1.3 I feel like this is the best ADS sensitivity right now, but if it's too high for you, put it like all the way down to, I'll say one. Anything from one to 1.3, I think that's a good range. Mm. 
aim response curve tight dynamic I feel like dynamic is best for high sense players because I don't know my movement just feels smoother when I play uh, dynamic I would try linear and I don't know I just I felt stiff trying to like move around and shoot I just felt weird to me and I never even tried standard but I like dynamic the most for movement Amos is on, Amos is tight default. Black Ops used to be good in, I don't know, I think Warzone 1, but I don't, or not Warzone 1, Warzone 2. But I default is better on Warzone 3. They nerfed Black Ops a lot. All right, automatic sprint. This is one of the most important things. Like, how everybody asks me how I move so fast. This is like the number one thing you have to have on. Make sure your automatic sprint is on automatic tactical sprint. If y'all don't know what a tactical sprint is, it's when you're running and your character holds the gun in, his, in the air, like above his head. That's what a tactical sprint is, and that's the fastest sprint in the game. So if you have this on at all times, you'll be running the fastest with just pushing your left stick forward. You don't have to press down and, you know, like where your thumb up. Slide maintain sprint, I got this off because when I had it on, I used to dolphin dive and do some dumb ass shit. I don't know. I don't I ain't like it. I don't move four off single tap sprint. I had this on single tap so you don't have to um you don't have to spam spam it. But you don't have to press this at all anyway because if this is on automatic tap sprint you don't even have to press this. But you can put this on whatever actually. It don't even matter. Ground and mental. I got all these ground and mental airborne I got all these off because I don't like auto mental and no stuff. I like manually doing it having control over my player uh slide slash dive behavior i got slide only i used to run hybrid but hybrid used to make me dolphin dive when i wasn't trying to so i put slide only it makes the slide like more fluid more faster um the only downside is you can't dolphin dive but i don't dolphin dive anyway so it really doesn't matter to me but if you do like dolphin dive put hybrid on but if you only slide can do slide only Plunge underwater, free. Parachute, automatic behavior off. All right, my graphic settings. Now, this is another question I get asked a lot. Like, what my settings are on my graphics. And my PlayStation, so... On demand texture streaming, turn is on. This just allows your game like to look better. Just overall in general, like high quality textures. It just allows it to look better, but oh shit. Royal motion blur and weapon motion blur turn both these off. Film grain, please turn this off. I see so many people clips with this on. Turn this to zero. Depth of field, turn this off. Fidelity cast on and fidelity cast strength is 100. This just makes your game look more vibrant and colorful if you got this on into the max. Field of view 120, of course. First person and third person put this at least at 50. It just makes like you don't get. First person camera movement, third person camera movement, put this on uh, at 50. Brightness, 51. Now for my audio settings, I use headphones, bass boost. This is the best I feel like because I feel like I could. Now for my audio settings, I use headphones, bass boost. Or bass boost or whatever the hell. Uh, I feel like this is the best for hearing, like gunshots and footsteps and stuff. 
But sometimes I'm not gonna lie, you can't even hear any footsteps because the game audio is just bad. It don't even matter what headphones you got or what settings you got. But yeah, master game volume, I got it at 80. Dialogue at 10. This is so the announcer isn't yelling in your ear when it's a precision coming. Effects 100. I got voice chat at 20 because I don't like if somebody's in voice chat proxy chat by me, I don't want the mics to be too loud. Uh, my open mic sensitivity is 20, microphone level 70. Hit market sound effects. I like the classic. This is like the uh, classic, like 2009 MW3 or MW2 sound effects. So I like these more than the uh, more recent ones. Interface. A lot of people ask me about my interface settings. So here they go. And here are my colors. Make sure y'all copy them if y'all want to. I'm going to leave them on the screen. And yeah, that's the end of my settings. If y'all did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment. And yeah, that's the end of my settings. If y'all did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment your favorite gun in Warzone history. That means Warzone 1, Warzone 2, Warzone 3. Comment your favorite gun. Actually, comment your favorite two guns in the history of all the Warzones. All three of the Warzones comment. But yeah, other than that, I love y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.